Hi, I'm Bobo. In this week's recap, Hong Kong's leading lender HSBC is raising its mortgage rates for the city by 50 basis points. This means that the bank's rates on mortgage loans linked to the Hong Kong Interbank Offered Rate have now been raised to 4.125% from 3.625%. It's the first time in years that we've been seeing mortgage loan rates rise above 4% and there are two main reasons for this. First, the Hong Kong Interbank Offered Rate, or HEBOR for short, has been at over 4% for five months in a row since May, reflecting upward pressure on bank funds. Second, the Hong Kong Monetary Authority earlier relaxed the loan-to-value ratio for properties below $15 million, meaning that buyers can now take out 70% mortgage loans for homes up to $15 million Hong Kong dollars. However, home prices have only risen by 1.5% this year, and market estimates say that they may drop by 20% by the third quarter of next year. If the homeowner is unable to pay off their loans, banks may suffer. Subsequently, raising interest rates is a means for banks to manage risks. For example, imagine taking out a 90% loan-to-value mortgage on an $8 million home with a 30-year repayment period. The monthly payment pre-interest rate hike is 33,657 Hong Kong dollars, but after the interest rate hike, it increases to 35,768 dollars. That's a 6% increase of about 2,100 Hong Kong dollars. In fact, the monthly income requirement under the stress test will rise to 74,737 Hong Kong dollars from 70,806 Hong Kong dollars. The new rates will be effective from the 18th of this month for existing homes and the 30th for uncompleted homes, and it's worth noting that they won't apply to current mortgage holders. Nonetheless, other banks may follow suit in the future. Next, following the success of its affordable new flats at the coastline, Hong Kong's leading developer CK Asset also started reduced prices uh, for its car parking spaces over the weekend. At the Beaumont 2 in Chengkun O, the developer reduced car parking prices by 30% from $1.8 million to $1.28 million. Parking space prices at Harbor Glory in North Point saw a bigger reduction from over $3 million to $2.36 million, a 35% reduction. CK Asset eventually sold 32 parking spaces, generating a total of about $52 million, and remaining car parks will be sold at current price. They expressed satisfaction with the sales results, but said that investment climate has been affected by the interest rate hikes. Meanwhile, Hong Kong's heavy rain caused a landslide in Tai Tam, exposing illegal structures in three detached houses at Red Hill Peninsula. Under the building department's investigation, the three cases involved unauthorized terrace structures in House 70, illegal basement structures in House 72, and structures on the first floor of House 74. Over the weekend, about 18 first-hand transactions were recorded, a significant increase from last weekend's two transactions. While this is a definite improvement, the market remained quiet. No new developments were launched, but first-hand developments remained relatively popular. Among the developments that recorded transactions, Henderson Land's Baker Circle Greenwich in Hung Hom recorded the most cases, with about seven deals. Another development, one in Avel Bellevue in Fan Ling, recorded about three transactions. Over 3,000 units from a range of new developments were actually set to launch in September. However, heavy rain disrupted developers' plans, with Road King Infrastructure postponing the launch of its sales brochure and show flats for its Mori development in Tun Mun to this Monday instead. The Mori project is located at Kwan Chui Road in Tun Mun and offers 693 open plan to four bedroom units with a focus on two bedroom flats, although special units and townhouses will also be available. Units are expected to launch in June of 2024 with a completion period of about nine months. Prices will be based on those of first and second hand developments in the area. Just for reference, the latest new development in the neighborhood was Grand Jete's Phase 2 development, which was launched in March of this year. And its first batch of flats was 12,509 Hong Kong dollars per square foot on average. Turning to the second hand market now, flat viewing activity was hindered by heavy rain for the past two weekends until purchasing power shot up on Saturday with an increase in transaction volume. 
Next, secondhand transaction volume returned to the double digits as Hong Kong's four biggest real estate agencies recorded between 7 and 14 transactions for the city's top 10 blue chip housing estates. Not only is this a weekly increase of 3.3 times for some agencies, it's also a 19 week high for transaction volume overall. There's two likely reasons for this increase. One, buyers rushing to enter the market before the interest rate hike, and two, homeowners willing to sell their homes at reduced prices. On that note, let's check out three examples of low price transactions. Our first case comes from Kingswood Villas in Tinsbury Wai. This was a three bedroom flat which sold at 5.07 million Hong Kong dollars for around 9,200 Hong Kong dollars per square foot to a home buyer from the same district for self use. Due to home prices of similar units dropping from nearly 6 million Hong Kong dollars to 5 million dollars, the original owner reduced prices by nearly 600,000 Hong Kong dollars. Based on the home's original price of $2.38 million in 2011, the original owner booked a profit of $2.69 million, marking a 1.1 time rise in appreciation. Our second case comes from Tai Ku Sheng, another major housing estate. This was a three bedroom mid rise flat in Nanshan Mansion, measuring 689 square feet in size. The original owner slashed the asking price by about 1.6 million Hong Kong dollars and eventually sold the flat for 9.9 .9 million dollars at around $14,400 per square foot. Despite a reduced asking price, however, the original owner had bought the flat back in 1996 for $3.65 million, hence booking a profit of $6.25 million, indicating a 1.7 time rise in appreciation. In our last case, a three bedroom flat in South Horizons sold at 18% below market price. Located in Block 3, the lower floor flat measured 747 square feet in size with three bedrooms and a storage room. The flat sold for $8 million at 10,710 Hong Kong dollars per square foot. If we compare this to similar units, prices reached $9.7 million, which means this unit is $1.7 million lower than or 18% below market price. Nonetheless, the original owner bought the flat in 1998 for $5.29 million Hong Kong dollars, making a profit of $2.71 million, which indicates a 51% increase in flat value appreciation. That's all for this week. See you in the next.